Somebody's house. And he needs prayer tonight. I miss Brother Darren Embry on this platform. I miss the warriors that stand there night after night and day after day around me as a man of God. And my armor bearers, the ones that uh, they, they're there. I, I love them. I pray for them. And I pray for our brethren, all of our brethren. But Brother Darrell Embry tonight needs a touch from God. Amen. He needs a touch from God. Amen. He's on the ground here over in his apartment. And uh, then just before service tonight, Brother Butch Del Hagen called me and he said, Brother Marlowe, I'm, I'm saddens me to call you like this. I want to be in service so bad. And all of you know that Brother Butch and Sister Carol, since they've come back to the church, have been working night and day to help this church. I mean, they're, they're working when uh, we don't even know they're working. They're on the phone trying to get people to come back, inviting people, talking to people. Uh, they're out gathering up things and giving to people and taking food to people and sacrificing a lot of their life for the gospel. And, um, I, and visiting and here with the brethren, Brother Farius, and Brother Les, visiting, uh, uh, getting ready for the meeting, seeing about motels, uh, and making endless trips in and out of motels, trying to get prices. Brother Del Hagen's been working feverishly, and uh, Sister Del Hagen has too. But she fell. She fell at home tonight, and she broke her kneecap. And uh, she's uh, right now in surgery at Manatee. Uh, memorial and Brother Butch is there with her and we want to pray uh, for the Del Hagen's tonight pray for Sister uh, Carol they were here Monday night Bible. they don't miss a Monday night Bible study uh, they're here they're there in this place on Monday night and they they, they give themselves over to Bible study in there uh, right back again he comes back Tuesday night and he holds up Brother Ferris's hands here I said Brother Butch I've never seen you with the zeal you have. And he's sure almost every night, every day, uh, giving himself to the Lord. And uh, of course, we all know the enemy attacked him with these blood clots in his lungs. And she was caring for him. Now she'll have to be cared for. Uh, but let's pray for Sister Carol tonight. Uh, right now in the operating room, right now undergoing surgery. I wonder if everybody that can pray we just rise up in one mind and one accord. Let's get heaven's uh, attention tonight. Uh, let's, let's get heaven's attention. Anyone that can pray, anyone that can seek God with us tonight. Uh, call on the Lord for the sick and the afflicted. And call on the Lord for these uh, two I uh, mentioned tonight, especially. Lord Jesus, we come before you. We're not ashamed to call on the name of Jesus. Uh, we know there's power in the blood. There's power in redemption of healing, and we know that you can touch uh, Sister Carol in the operating room tonight, Lord, while she's undergoing surgery for this broken kneecap. Lord, Lord, you can recover her. You can recover her, Lord. And you can do a marvelous work. And you can bring about a marvelous healing. And you can bring about a marvelous victory, Lord, in the light. If we pray in one mind and one accord tonight in the house of God, to we the children of God are in one mind and one spirit and one accord, Lord, you can bring a healing. Uh, you can bring a victory. You can bring a joy in the camp of the saints. Uh, and we pray that you'll undergird the Del Hagans. Uh, and you'll help them, Lord. And you'll go with them, Lord. And you'll watch over them, Lord. And you'll keep them, Jesus. And you'll let there be a healing. And in Brother Darrell Henry's life tonight, let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. Let there be a a miracle and in the life of those others that are sick and those that are afflicted. Let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle of all the sick and all the afflicted. And let there be a miracle among your people. And we'll give you the praise. And we'll give you the glory and we'll believe your name because we're a prayer warrior. We are prayer warriors in this church, Lord. We call on the Lord. We plead the blood. We 
plead the blood. We plead the blood of the name of Jesus. We believe tonight there is victory and there is power and there is praise in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to bless the rest of the congregation as we approach this Christmas day, this Christmas season. We pray for all the houses to be given over to God. We pray that nothing will be above your name uh, come Sunday and the day, Lord, of worship. Praise our God that we will let nothing be between us and you on the day that your name is set throughout the world. We pray for every house, every mission, every ministry, everyone here tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray for every heart condition, everyone that has a heart condition in this place tonight. We pray that you will touch them. We pray you will heal anyone with a heart condition. We pray, Lord, that you will touch the age, the afflicted. Praise our God. Praise our God. God beat us tonight. Lord, attack it in the name of Jesus. Drive it back out of the life of the people. This enemy of the cause, this enemy of the cross, we, we say in the name of Jesus, drive it back tonight. Drive it back tonight. Drive it back tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. We pray and we believe. Praise God. We pray and we believe. You know, there's victory in praise. Amen. Yes. Yes. That's why I want to encourage you to yes. praise him tonight. Amen. While we're having our praise service. While we're singing. Amen. While we're worshiping. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know if you know your Bible that well or not, but there was one tribe that went before the soldiers yes. of Israel with their spears and their swords right. and their fighting instruments. They didn't go first, right. but the ones that went first was Judah, yes. and Jesus. Judah only had flags Flag. of victory, <laughs> only had praise unto yes. the Lord, Amen. and yes. the first thing the Philistines, the Hittites, the Gergeshites, the Amalekites uh, encouraged was not the steel of Israel's sword. They encountered the praise, praise. of the Jehovah God. Amen. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. I wonder if the church will ever learn that secret. Amen. That praise is the answer. Amen. Praising Amen. in the morning. Praising at night. Praise when you're sick. Praising when you're well. Praising when you're going through affliction. Yeah. Praising when you're going through trouble. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord in all things, uh, at all times. Uh, praise our God uh, in everything. Give thanks uh, in everything. Give thanks. Uh. So tomorrow we're going to sing our chorus. And everything and give everything thanks for this is the will of God. Hallelujah! Praise God. Pick it up and sing it. Uh, the time of Judah needs to go forth tonight. We all need to rise up and praise Him. We need to give him thanks, Zach. Well, tomorrow I don't feel like it. I feel like I'm down in my spirit. Well, get up in your spirit. Amen. You know what I do when I'm down in my spirit? I get up in my spirit. Right? You know what I do when I'm troubled? I get rest in the Lord. You know what I do when the enemy comes to attack me? I go against the enemy. That's right, Pastor. I go on the offensive. That's right. I'm never on the defensive. That's right. Never on the defensive. Not, not with Satan. Not with the evil one. Not with the carnal mind. Not with the endemic nature. You cannot be on the defensive. You must be on the offensive. Praise the name of the Lord. Pursue. What did God tell David at Ziklag? When Ziklag was burned and destroyed That's and his right. wives taken, right. he said, Pursue David yes. and you'll recover yes. all that has been taken from you. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise I God. feel like pursuing tonight. Let's pursue it. Oh, you're preaching. You're preaching. You're preaching. Praise our God. Oh, this is the will of God.
got some things that the Lord wants me to say, I will. And I, I'm going to let the Holy Ghost stir it up here. Yeah. Yeah.